native forest still far away from us. This is where the forest gives beautiful protection for a whole variety of wild animals to live. We have uh, deer living there, we have wild pigs living there, we have uh, armadillos living there, we have uh, uh, porcupines living there, we have ant eaters, uh, toucans and boa constrictors and a whole variety of wild animals that are now afraid to come up to here to the garden. We have it so much hotter here that I've measured the difference in temperatures between 6 to 8 degrees difference of being here in the full sun or being there in the shade. That means that all our cultivation here is a lot more dependent of us watering. So that's why we want to bring the forest towards here. At the same time we want to create a forest that is full of food, food for us but also for the surrounding nature. So uh, we love chocolate, we love cacao. Under this shade cloth here, you guys can see uh, 2,000 cacao plants have been planted. The cacao, we want to plant it here in these two and a half hectares to close the gap between the forests. But we don't want to grow a monoculture forest because if I only have one variety of fruit, I only invite one or two varieties of animals that love to eat it. They're going to find lots of food, lots of boyfriends and girlfriends. They're going to make lots of love, make lots of babies. And that's how we get a pest or a plague. And I've seen it on other cacao forests that there is hundreds and hundreds of squirrels. And they're all biting open the, that fruit because that is the only fruit they can find in this land. Yes. So what have we done? We have planted here last year in October. We have planted here 500 fruit trees from different varieties. From avocados to mangoes, from oranges to lemons to mandarins, from uh, jackfruit to breadfruit, from starfruit uh, to guanabana, uh, lots of different types of fruits. Yes. At the same time, we know that our cacao, when it grows, the first three years it needs to have 70% of shade. Therefore, last year in October, we planted 2,000 bananas from 10 different varieties. Like I said, the banana between the moment you plant it, the moment you we harvest it, it's just 11 months, so it super quickly creates the shade for the cacao. After those three years, the rest of its life, the cacao only needs 30% of shade because cacao naturally comes from the Amazon and has always been growing in the understory of the Amazonian forest. Um, and therefore those 500 other fruit trees are giving that semi-shade um, to the cacao tree. For the last two months our uh, coffee uh, team has finished the harvest of the coffee and for the last two months they've been digging 2,000 holes here. Uh, we have been making our own bokashi compost which is a compost we make with our lactobacteria and um, for the last week we've been filling up all the holes with a handful of compost. That compost we let it cool off, we water it twice the hole and now this week we are starting to plant this cacao tree. Yes. So we are not we are building the forest up like this to 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 always creating protection for the next plant that is coming. Um, so one day the forest will come all the way back to here. The cold breeze from the forest will make it more fresh here in the garden. It will keep a lot more moisture on the land. We will have a lot more wildlife coming towards the garden. Um, and you guys can see we are growing an abundance of food. We will never be able to eat all the bananas from 2,000 banana <laughs> trees. Um, so we know that we are planting for nature as well. But there's a... How when many we years do you think? When the the first years? cacaos, will be, we will harvest them in three and a half years. Yeah. Yeah, the first bananas, we will harvest them in uh, five months. Yeah. Um, like I said, the...